Hi everyone, I am Lakshmi Purnada. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. In today's session, we are going to discuss about osmotic drug delivery system. In this session, the topics to be covered are introduction of osmotic drug delivery system, osmotic pumps, advantages, disadvantages of osmotic pumps and materials used in the manufacture of osmotic pumps. So, let us discuss about introduction of osmotic uh, drug delivery system. In this, the main principle involved in this osmotic drug delivery system is osmosis. Osmosis is referred to the process of movement of solvent from low concentration of solute to high concentration of solute across a semi-permeable membrane. In this, we are taking water, a pure water and a sugar solution taken in a uh, beaker and both are separated by a, a semi-permeable membrane and this semi-permeable membrane which is permeable to water but impermeable to sugar solution for this the flow of water into the sugar solution was halted or stopped when the pressure P is applied to the sugar solution pressure P is applied to the sugar solution that pressure P is called as osmotic pressure and this osmotic pressure, osmotic pressure of a sugar solution is directly proportional to solution concentration and absolute temperature. That osmotic pressure is represented by symbol pi is equal to, the osmotic pressure is directly proportional to uh, concentration uh, and absolute temperature. Hence, we are taking an idle gas equation, pi is equals to nRT. We can express like this, pi is osmotic pressure. Pi is osmotic pressure and is a molar concentration of sugar solution. Molar concentration of sugar solution. R is gas constant. T is the absolute temperature. And the other method of obtaining this osmotic pressure is by utilizing vapor pressures. By utilizing this vapor pressure also, we have to obtain an uh, equation. The equation pi is equals to RT integral P0 by P divided by P. Pi is osmotic pressure, R is a gas constant, uh, T is absolute temperature, P0 is a vapor pressure of pure solvent. Vapor pressure of pure solvent and P is vapor pressure of solution V is a molar volume molar volume of solvent this vapor pressure is measured with less effect compared to that of osmotic pressure that's why this expression is frequently used when increase in osmotic pressure when increase in this osmotic pressure is responsible for the high water flow across a semi-permeable membrane. For this, the rate of flow, the rate of water flow is dictated by the other expression. The expression is dV by dt is equals to A theta delta pi A theta delta pi divided by L. dV by dt is nothing but a rate of flow across a membrane. A is a area. Theta is permeability. Delta pi is difference in osmotic pressure between two solutions on either side of the uh, semi-permeable membrane. L is a thickness. difference between the osmotic pressure across the semi-permeable membrane that is delta pi L is a thickness. This equation is applicable for a perfect semi-permeable membrane. Perfect semi-permeable membrane which is completely impermeable to solutes. Okay, this is the main principle involved in this osmotic drug delivery systems. Next, osmotic pumps.
this of osmotic pumps offer several advantages and disadvantages let us see this osmotic pumps offer more advantages than other controlled drug delivery system the advantages are they are easy to formulate simple in operation and improves patient compliance with reduced dosing frequencies and more consistent and prolonged therapeutic effect with uniform blood concentrations these are inexpensive and the production scale up is easy these are the advantages of osmotic pumps let us coming to uh, disadvantages or there are some drawbacks of this osmotic drug delivery system those drawbacks are the toxicity the toxicity is due to dose dumping and rapid development of tolerance and uh, additional patient education must be required and we have to counsel the patients before implantation of this osmotic drug delivery system and there is a hypersensitivity reactions may occur after implantation of this osmotic drug delivery systems okay these are the advantages and disadvantages of this osmotic pumps let us see the manufacturing of this osmotic pumps this osmotic pumps consisting of a drug plus semi permeable membrane in some cases this drug itself acts as a osmogen in this in that cases it shows good aqueous solubility when drug itself acts as a osmogen it shows good aqueous solubility example for this is potassium chloride pumps in case drug does not have this osmo uh, osmogenic property the drug does not have osmogenic property in that cases we have to use osmogenic salt and other sugars in the manufacturing of this osmotic pumps if drug itself acts as osmogen it shows good aqueous solubility example potassium chloride pumps if the drug does not have the osmogenic property in this osmogenic property in this condition we have to take an osmogenic salt and other other sugars in the formulation of this osmotic pumps this osmogens are the freely water soluble and capable of producing osmotic pressure and the in the formulation we have to use either single osmogen or as a combination of osmogens can be used in the uh, formulation of this osmotic pumps apart from this uh, essential components such as uh, osmogens and semi permeable membrane the other materials used in the manufacturing of this osmotic pumps are hydrophilic and hydrophobic polymers hydrogels this hydrogels either uh, swellable or non swellable in nature wicking agents solubilizing agents surfactants semi with this semi permeable membrane consisting of plasticizers surfactants and flux regulating agents if, uh, apart from this above materials apart from these above materials we have to use some tabulating aids those tabulating aids such as lubricants binders uh, diluents glidants wetting agents all these are incorporated in the manufacturing of this osmotic uh, pumps thank you please like share and subscribe my channel